वेलकम फ्रेंड्स फॉर ऑनलाइन सेशन नंबर थ्री क्लास नाइन्थ सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ आई एम जी आर चोपड़े पीजीटी बायो जे एन वी सांगली सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ कंटिन्युएशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड सेशन हाउ एक्सपेरिमेंट कैन बी डन टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट ऑस्मोसिस देन सेलोवाल प्लाज्मोलाइसिस साइटोप्लाज्मा and different organelles including nucleus now hello friends i am nirmal chopre from 9th jn sangli today i am going to demonstrate experiment osmosis using an egg cell take an egg break it and see a thin plasma membrane here soak egg in vinegar for one day it dissolve the shell Shed you can use even hydrochloric acid also dilute hydrochloric acid it contain calcium carbonate react with acetic acid and produce carbon dioxide it will produce a carbon dioxide when you add along See with the calcium bubbles. acetate wash it then prepare one hypochlorite solution and another one is hypertonic solution you can add a corn syrup or you can add sugar or salt put one egg in hypotonic solution and another in hypertonic solution so put Keep separately observation after 8 hours the egg swell in hypotonic solution because water will enter the cell but in hypertonic solution egg shrink because the water will leave the cell now you can compare here difference in the egg size kept mm -hmm. in different solution so one is kept in hypotonic solution this is kept in hypertonic solution even with the resins monoke wo bhi aap kar sakte now come to the second part that is cell wall after plasma membrane it is the outermost covering of the plant cells it is absent in animal cell it is a rigid strong thick porous and non living structure it is chemically made up of cellulose and hemicellulose so these two chemicals it is also found in plants algae fungi and most of the bacteria what are the functions of cell wall it provides definite shape to the cell it provides strength to the cell strength it is permeable and allow the entry of molecules of a different size it has the characteristics of repair and regeneration also it helps cells to withstand a greater changes in the surrounding medium than animal cell so therefore plant can uh, retain or adapt in any kind of situation plasmolysis when a living plant cell loses water through osmosis so there is a shrinkage or contraction of the content of the cell away from the cell wall called plasmolysis for example a ruyo leaf when you kept in a hypertonic solution so this is the leaf and here you can see that hello good morning ha huh. So ruyo leaf in hypertonic solution. See when you keep in a hypertonic solution, so here all cytoplasma content along with the plasma membrane will come at one particular place. So this is plasmolysis cell. Or another you can see here. So these all pink or red color content will shrink and the cell size will remain same, but that all cytoplasma will be shrink. So this is called plasmolysis cell. What is the other structural organization of a cell? Nucleus. and cell organelles ya yeah, compartments see this is the structure of a nucleus okay so this is the structure of a nucleus so here you can see nucleus has the double membrane inner and outer membrane then it has a pores so that is called nuclear pore between the two membrane there is a perinuclear space and inside there is a chromatin it may be euchromatin or heterochromatin and there is a small nuclei called nucleolus even from the outer membrane the endoplasmic reticulum will also develop 
it may contain ribosomes or without ribosomes now nucleus it has double layer nuclear membrane nuclear membrane has pores which allow the transfer of materials in and out nucleus contain chromosomes which are rod shaped structure generally occur or found during the cell division chromatin is a entangled mass of thread like structure so chromatin become chromosome during the cell division so chromatin or chromosomes are chemically contain dna deoxyribonucleic acid and protein molecules if question puchenge what are the contents of chromosomes or chromatin so this dna contain a functional segment of the dna that are called genes and every gene carry a information necessary for constructing and organizing the cells the yeah, functions of our body see this is a chromosome so chromosome contain that chromatid and in chromatid there is a chromatin and this is the dna molecule now cell organelles endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus lysosomes mitochondria plastids vacuoles and ribosomes now so we have seen that a nucleus the smallest are living compact. units of an organism all cells have These three cells. things in common no matter what type of cell they are all cells have a cell membrane which separates the inside of the cell from its environment cytoplasm which is a jelly like fluid and dna which is the cell's genetic material so that is present in the nucleus and these are all organelles there are two broad categories of cells the first category is eukaryotic cells they have organelles which include the nucleus and other special parts these all are eukaryotic cells are more advanced complex cells such as those found in plants and animals animals the second category is prokaryotic cells is prokaryotic. they don't have a nucleus or membrane enclosed organelles See here membrane is not present only chromosome is present they do have genetic material but it's not contained within a nucleus prokaryotic cells are always one celled or unicellular organisms such as bacteria okay now we'll see one by one other organs this is now endoplasmic reticulum developed from the outer membrane of nucleus so rough endoplasmic reticulum if the ribosomes are attached and if it is free from ribosomes it is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum er it is a large network of membrane bound tubes and seeds there are two types rough endoplasmic reticulum r e r smooth endoplasmic reticulum s e r difference i told you with ribosomes without ribosomes functions ser manufacture of a fat molecules or lipids it er transport of materials between the cytoplasm and nucleus it also work as a cytoplasmic framework the surface for er is used for the biochemical activities of cell the ser also helps in detoxifying many poisonous and drugs second organelle golgi apparatus first described by camillo golgi it is a system of membrane bound vesicles arranged parallel to each other in a stacks called cisterns basic functions it helps in storage modification packaging of proteins in vesicle it is a proteins the complex sugars may be made from the simple sugars it inod in the formation of lysosomes ek mark ka question aayega lysosomes developed from golgi apparatus now what are lysosomes they are membrane bound sac filled with digestive enzymes a kind of waste disposal system of the cell so it keep the cell clean by digesting any foreign material or uh, even worn out cell organelles to take away organelles it break foreign materials like bacteria or food or even old organelles into small pieces 
so therefore it is called a suicide bags of cell very very important during the disturbance agar disturb ho gaya cell the cellular metabolism lysosome burst and the enzymes digest their own cell khud ke cell ko marte hain that is suicide next organelle is mitochondria see there are two membrane outer membrane and inner membrane it has its own dna and ribosomes and there are so many foldings outer membrane is smooth hoga inner membrane folded hoga mitochondria have two membrane outer membrane is very porous inner membrane is deeply folded mitochondria have their own dna and ribosomes so there are folds which create a large surface area for the synthesis of atp that is generating chemical reactions atp you know adenosine triphosphate and atp is called currency of the cell and mitochondria are called power house of the cell apne even 8th mein bhi padha hai now next organelle plastids so plastids are only found in plants there are different kinds of plastids lycoplast white or colorless plastids chromoplast colored plastids so different colors within that there is a chloroplast which contain green pigment that is chlorophyll and also they contain their own dna and ribosomes like mitochondria so chloroplast helps in photosynthesis in plants so that will study in higher classes you have already studied in seventh class lycoplast helps in storage of starch oil protein granules and other chromoplast other than green they attract the pollinators which are generally found in flower so plastids are only present where there is a green pigment that is chloroplast vacuoles see vacuoles is the larger in plant cell they are smaller in animal cell they have a membrane called tonoplast they are small size in animal cell many in number very large size in plant cell few in number plant cells generally occupy 50 to 90% of the cell volume what are the functions it provide turgidity that is swelling turgid and rigidity to the cell so it store amino acids sugar various organic acids and some a proteins in amoeba it store food and that is called food vacuole okay now after knowing all these organelles now you can make the differences plant cell animal cell very simple i have given cell wall is present cell wall is absent plastids are present plastids are absent one large vacuole numerous tiny vacuoles centriole absent centriole present okay so this is a uh, very important question puchenge now cell division see here is a parent cell that parent cell divide into two or four daughter cells process by which new cells are made from pre existing or parent cell is called cell division so there are two main types first one is mitosis where the two cells are produced second one is meiosis where the four daughter cells are produced now what is the another difference see here there are four chromosome red and blue color but daughter cell also has four chromosomes but here in meiosis parent cell has four chromosomes but the daughter cell have only half that is two two chromosomes each so therefore this is the basic difference between mitosis and meiosis now what is the difference mitosis it produce two identical daughter cells similar cells have the same number of chromosomes as mother cell or yeah, parent cell agar four hai to four hamare sharir mein agar 46 hai to unke daughter cell mein bhi 46 hi honge occurs in all dividing cells helps in growth and repair of the tissue hamara jo height badhta hai mitosis se hota hai when the skin will get injured to repair hota hai mitosis in other hand meiosis produce four daughter new cells so they have half the number of chromosomes than that of mother cell that is agar mother mein four hai to idhar daughter cells mein two two chromosomes honge half so it is occurs in only a reproductive organs it occurs in reproductive organs 
So therefore, always the gametes, a yeah, germ cell contain half the number of chromosomes. So this is the basic difference between mitosis and meiosis. Okay. So finally, we have learned the as a whole chapter. A plants, a cell is the unit of life. Each cell is enclosed by a plasma membrane, which is made up of lipids, proteins. Cytoplasma contains nucleus and organelles. So there is a cell wall also in plant and bacteria, fungi. Nucleus in eukaryotes, but no nucleus in the prokaryotes. Cell has many organelles which perform specific functions like mitochondria, powerhouse, lysosomes, suicide bags, okay, transporting channels, then lipid and protein synthesis channel like that. Cell divide for growth and reproduction. And there are two types of cell division, mitosis and meiosis. Okay. Now certain assignment for you. Name the largest cell of living world. Amoeba is a dash organism. Who discovered nucleus of cell? Moment of solvent into the cell is called as dash. Okay. Now pause the video and then write your answer and then check your answer. See your answers would be ostrichiac, unicellular, Robert Hooke, osmosis. Okay. Now. There are certain MCQs. Again, you solve and then check your answer. Gaseous exchange in uh, cells takes place by osmosis, endocytosis, diffusion, endocytosis. A cell may swell up and even burst if the concentration of water molecules within the cell is higher. A concentration of water molecule in the surrounding is higher. So like this. Okay. Now again, pause the video. Write your choice A or B or C or D. Then check. So your answer should be first is diffusion and second one is B. Okay. Then third may be process of plasmolysis in plant cell may be defined as either char choice DI. Okay. Amoeba acquires food through process known as dash. Okay. And prokaryotes have an undefined nuclear region which is known as. Again, video thoda pause karenge. Pahila answer liko. Fir check karenge. Aur apka answer hai B. Idhar hai A. Or either a B. Okay, I said you can do this one. Yeah, A deco. Again, video thoda pause karenge. In the following figure, there is a membrane at the bottom of the YouTube. Okay, aapko likna hai. Why is the level of side B rising in the YouTube? Which side is hypertonic compared to the other end? Side A or side B? Answer liko. Fir check karo. Aapka answer hona chahiye. Rise is liye ho raha hai because of osmosis. Or side B mein. Aapko milega hypertonic solution. Isi le water is moving from hypo to hypertonic solution. I say bhaus saare. Ya I say bhi question saayenge. Identify which is the correctly plasmolized cell. Ye hai, B hai, C hai, D hai. Dekh lo koon sa sahi hai. Okay, isi prakar se. So B hai. Okay, ya I say aapko table aayega. Again, pause the video. Pahela isko khatam karenge. Jaise ki idhar diya hai, endoplasm gira. Likhte ja. Video pause karna hai. लिखना है फिर चेक करेंगे मैं सीधा आंसर आपको बताता हूं माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया पावर हाउस न्यूक्लियस कंट्रोल सेंटर क्लोरोप्लास्ट ओके किचन ऑफ द सेल लाइसोसोम सुसाइड बैग्स राइबोसोम्स प्रोटीन फैक्टरीज ओके गॉल्जी बॉडी सिपर्स ऐसे सो दीस आर डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ असाइनमेंट ओके सो थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग दिस सेशन सो अगेन वॉच माय नेक्स्ट वीडियोस